All right, hold on a second. Starting. That's okay. Three. It says my whole name is Jacqueline. I go by Jackie because my name's really long and I don't like to say it. I am originally from Ohio. Um, I was born in Cleveland and I lived in Ohio for 18 years before I moved to Michigan. Um, I am really, really into sports. So Michigan, Ohio State games are really, really hard for me because I can't root for Michigan, but I live in Michigan, so it's I always have a struggle with being around. Everybody, people. don't look at her. Just don't even look at her right now. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, Ohio is a fun place and it's home. So, um, high school was kind of a fun time. I was a varsity cheerleader for from my freshman year all the way to my senior year, um, and I was the only person within 10 years of when I graduated when I started high school to be on a varsity cheerleading team as a freshman. It doesn't happen. Um, we're nine-time division we're nine -time divi division champions, so it just doesn't happen. And I was a competitive cheerleader for 10 years. Um, my dream was to go to Ohio State and be a cheerleader, so that was kind of, I'll get into that a little bit too. So, um, yeah, that was basically what I did all through high school was study and cheer from 5.30 to 7. I was at practice and then I would go to school from 7 to 3 and then from 3.30 to 10 um, I was back at practice because I had school practice in the morning and competitive practice at night and then I would go home <laughs> at 10.30 and do homework and then get up and do it again the next day. Um, that was six days a week. I had one day off if I didn't have a game. Graduation. Um, I graduated in 2009. Um, my graduating class was 620 kids, and I graduated seventh in my class. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So it was it was a fun time. Um, I my junior year of high school actually got accepted to Ohio State, which was this was the original um, letter that I got with my acceptance letter of. Um, that I had a full um, athletic scholarship to cheer um, at Ohio State, which was incredible because <laughs> um, they don't normally give full full athletic scholarships to cheerleaders just because it's not, they give it to the ball players, the basketball players, but not to the cheerleaders. So that was, that was my dream. And, and so my junior year, I actually found out that um, I was going to be cheering there because they can you can send in your scouting tape um, your junior year and they can kind of say, hey, we're going to wait or we're going to you know, let you know that. So um, it made senior year fun because I didn't have to do a lot of anything because I already was accepted. So um, yeah, um, I wasn't starting cheering until um, the spring semester. So fall was kind of half fun, hang out. So I um, joined the sorority. Um, and this, that's the, I was our class when we got initiated and those were some of my, that was my big sis and my sorority and the girl that I, a girl that I, um, fledged with and, um, yeah, sorority life's fun. <laughs> um, it's a great way to, it was a great way to meet friends and kind of have sisters and I felt like I could have the best of both worlds because I could cheer and have, um, have the athletic friends, but I could also be in the sorority and have the fun friends that went out and kind of did all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I joined them, that sorority the fall of my freshman year of college. Um, and then, the surgery. <laughs> so, one night we were out, um, I was out with my sorority friends and we went to a party and I was slightly intoxicated and fell and all of my weight landed on my knee and I it happened to be two weeks before I was supposed to leave to go to um, training for um, the spring semester of cheerleading um, and I tore my ACL um, and so that was probably the one of the biggest challenges in my life was tearing my ACL um, because I couldn't 
I couldn't cheer. Um, I found out that I had to have surgery because it was my ACL and my meniscus. Um, so one night kind of led to that. Um, and so that was kind of the turning point for me because um, my athletic scholarship as well as cheering was kind of done. Um, they basically told me that I would be able to cheer again, but I would never be able to do, to tumble or to fly or to do the things that were required to be a big time, a top ten, big time cheerleader. So, um, yeah, I finished off my spring semester at Ohio State. Um, didn't cheer anymore, couldn't afford to go back after that because um, I didn't have an academic scholarship and I, there was no way for me to remake the team not being able to do the things that I do when I tried out. So um, that was when I came to Michigan for the summer to um, work at a youth camp that I went to a couple summers um, growing up. Um, and so that was kind of the, the switch over. I came to Michigan for the summer. It was supposed to be for just that summer to kind of figure some things out, figure out where I was going to go to school. and. It was good money, and at the end of the summer, I they offered me a full-time position um, as a guest services director. Um, and I work at Crane Hill Ranch. It's in Rodney, Michigan. Um, Romney? Rodney. Rodney, Michigan. Where is that? In big, it's about ten minutes out of Big Rapids. Okay. Um, so I worked there full-time as a guest <laughs> services, um, and yeah, um, I've been here now for three years almost, um, and it was a it was a pretty big adjustment. It was a pretty big switch because my whole life was in Ohio, and coming to Michigan is is hard and different. And you did move up in the world, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just check it. I mean, <laughs> when when um, that whole thing came out about how Ohio State cheerleaders can't spell Ohio, that was the big the big uh, fun time at work when. I'm sure it was. <laughs> that was like on my screensaver and on my bulletin board. Like people ask me how to spell Ohio just about every day <laughs> for about a month. Um, and I am currently dual enrolled in Ferris in here, um, finishing up my nursing degree um, to work with kids. Probably is what I'm wanting to do, and hopefully stay full time at the ranch and um, do a camp nursing kind of thing. So. Thank you. Um, Pediatrics? Yeah, yep. Um, and so this is just kind of some pictures of kind of some kids that I worked with a couple summers ago and the staff that I worked with when we went to a, um, a Christian camping conference, um, just being dumb. And just, uh, Glad I was prepared by the previous slide because originally the burning cross thing kind of threw me for a loop for the first time. <laughs> just so you know, I was like, okay. What other clubs you belong to? <laughs> no, actually, this is. You'd be um, a cute little short Ku Klux Klan thing walking through there. <laughs> this is the first fire I ever built ever in my whole life last summer, um, for like a ceremony thing that we do. So it was just fun and significant because I am a city girl who doesn't build fires and doesn't walk through woods, and um, Crane Hill's basically in the middle of woods. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, Good that's for you. That's it. Nice to know you. Well done, well done.